more diaphragm than diagram the way the plan made us feel, near impervious, backstopped and easy, bouncy on the deep reaches and open to let go, cut loose the wild goose, hands in the air, waving to the crowd an emotion. We were even free in the choice of place as well as mode by which to cross that line from which decency formerly recoiled. Diaphragm's fear and helmeted, badged and collared, we are its sanction. We ourselves planted gingerly that first cross and then unchallenged its subsequent doubling, quadrupling, and exultant, finally its infinite wharf, woof of bewildering progression until the land today is studded with crosses, trespasses no angel would thumb a ride through. Yet no mark survives, really, no land, only words drained of blood and brains in a mishmash of cross lines, misfires, and conundry, more tantalizing than any rupture it once staked. The same. Key to the con is release, to let pressure ease and so allow digestive intervals during which the mob in earnest may return to corporate tasks and leisures. Time seems to stand still. I'd thought the arch merely a gateway but it's much thicker than I imagined. Moreover, instead of moving straight into the structure, I'm standing in the shade of an echoing chamber, curved whiteness smooth around me, swallowing my voice as I call back. To the other side, I can't feel my head. Attendants part them, and they come out of the grave. End transmission.